Welcome back, viewers. Former US President Donald Trump has been indicted over his handling of classified documents. Trump has been inducted by a federal grand jury for retaining classified government documents and obstruction of justice. He retained at his Florida home after leaving the White House. Trump, 76, faces seven charges including unauthorized retention of classified files, making false statements and conspiracy of obstruct according to reports. It is the second indictment of Trump and the first ever federal indictment of a former president. The criminal case brought by the US Department of Justice is another blow to the former US president as he currently seeks to regain the US presidency next year. It marks the second time that Trump, the first former president in US history to face criminal charges, has been inducted. Trump already faces a criminal case in New York that is due to go to trial in March. A source told that Trump's legal team was notified about the seven charges as part of a summons ordering him to appear in court in Miami on Tuesday. The indictment remains under seal and even Trump himself has not yet seen what it says. Trump said on social media that he had been summoned to appear at the federal courthouse in Miami on Tuesday. I am an innocent man, he wrote on his Truth Social platform. I never thought it possible that such a thing could happen to a former president of the United States, he wrote. He added, this is indeed a dark day for the United States of America. We are a country in serious and rapid decline, but together we will make America great again. The former president wrote on Truth Social that he had been informed by the Justice Department he was indicted and that he was summoned to appear at the federal courthouse in Miami on Tuesday at 3 p.m. The corrupt Biden administration has informed my attorneys that I have been indicted, seemingly over the boxes hawks, Trump wrote. FBI agent in this week's search of former U.S. President Donald Trump's Florida home removed 11 sets of classified documents, including some marked as top secret, the Justice Department said on Friday, while also disclosing it had probable cause to conduct the search based on possible Espionage Act violations. The bombshell disclosures were made in a search warrant approved by U.S. Magistrate Judge and accompanying documents released four days after agent search Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence in Palm Beach. The Espionage Act, one of three laws cited in the warrant application, dates to 1917 and makes it a crime to release information that could harm national security. Trump, in a statement on his social media platform, said the records were all declassified and placed in secure storage. They did not need to seize anything they could have had in any time they wanted without playing politics and breaking into Mar a Lago, the Republican businessman turned politician said. The search was carried out as part of a federal investigation into whether Trump illegally removed documents when he left office in January 2021, after losing the presidential election two months earlier to Democrat Joe Biden. Although the FBI on Monday carted away material labeled as classified, the three laws cited as the basis for the warrant make it a crime to mishandle government records, regardless of whether they are classified. As such, Trump's claims that he disclassified the documents would have no bearing on the potential legal violations at issue. FBI agents took more than 30 items, including more than 20 boxes, binders of photos, a handwritten note and the executive grant of clemency for Trump's LA and longtime advisor Roger Stone. A list of items removed showed. Also included in the list was information about the President of France. The warrant showed that FBI agents were asked to search a room called the 45th office. Trump was the 45th US President as well as all other rooms and structures or buildings on the estate used by Trump or his staff where boxes or documents could be stored. The Justice Department said in the warrant application approved by U.S. Magistrate Judge Bruce Reinhardt that it had probable cause to believe violations of the Espionage Act had occurred at Trump's home. 
that law was initially enacted to combat spying prosecution under it were relatively uncommon until the justice department ramped up its use under both trump and his predecessor barack obama to go after leakers of national security information including leaks to the news media the law section cited as the basis for the warrant prohibits unauthorized possession of national defense information it did not spell out the details about why investigators have reason to believe such a violation occurred there was three primary levels of classification for sensitive government materials top secret secret and confidential top secret is the highest level reserved for the most closely held us national security information such documents usually are kept in special government facilities because disclosure could gravely damage national security FBI agents on Monday collected four sets of top secret documents, three sets of secret documents and three sets of confidential documents. It was disclosed on Friday. Trump has not been charged with any wrongdoing. It remained unclear whether any charges would be brought. Since Monday's search, the department has faced fierce criticism and online threats which Garland have condemned. Trump supporters and some Republican in Washington have accused Democrats of weaponizing the federal bureaucracy to target him even he must another run for the presidency in 2024. And that's all folks. That was the bulletin in brief for you. Stay informed, stay connected.